மரியாதைக்குரிய தமிழ்நாட்டின் வல்லுநர் திரு மனோகர்லால் புரோஹித் அவர்களே மரியாதைக்குரிய தெலங்கானா ஆளுநர் திருமதி தமிழிசை சௌந்தரராஜன் அவர்களே மரியாதைக்குரிய தமிழ்நாடு சபாநாயகர் திரு தன்பால் அவர்களே மீன்வளத்துறை அமைச்சர் டாக்டர் டி ஜெயக்குமார் அவர்களே மற்றும் இங்கே வந்திக்கு எல்லா அமைச்சர் மீன்வளத்துறை அமைச்சர் ஜெயக்குமார் கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு இஸ் ஹியோ ஹாப்பி தட் ஸ்பீக்கர் of the Tamil Nadu Assembly also is here. And I am happy that I am in the company of two governors. One Tamil Nadu, another Tamilian governor of Karangana. Both the governors. It's a very, very pleasant uh, evening. And a very pleasant uh, and pious occasion. So I feel uh, delighted to be here in Chennai. Raj Bhavan with all of you today to celebrate our traditional pongal at the outset let me convey my heartiest pongal wishes to each and every one of you let me thank the honorable governor of tamil nadu sri manohar roy ji for his kind invitation to join this celebration i feel really very very happy one is pongal is a traditional function which is dearer to my heart as i am a farmer myself second i am here in the august company of many people today in tamil nadu which is one state very dearer to my heart also pongal is one of the most popular and most fervently celebrated harvest festival of south india the literal meaning of pongal is spilling over it points to the tradition of boiling rice in a pot until it starts overflowing symbolizing a bountiful harvest prosperity and well being pongal falls in mid january every year and marks the auspicious beginning of uttarayana the northward migration of the sun which would last for 6 months even though pongal was originally a festival for the farming community today it is celebrated by all pongal is the celebration of the bounty of nature it is the expression of profound gratitude to nature for nourishing and sustaining life a special puja is performed on the first day of pongal before the cutting of the paddy farmers worship sun and the earth by beautifully anointing their plows and sickles with the sandalwood paste it is with this consecrated tools that the newly harvested rice is cut paddy is cut other traditions of the celebrations include drying of kolam and cooking of delicious pongal the governor has taken the initiative and organized the beautiful kolam there facilitating all of us to have that personal feeling each of the three days of pongal is marked by different festivities The first day bogi pongal is a day to celebrate family life and relationships surya pongal the second day is dedicated to the worship of surya the sun god by offering milk and jaggery to the deity the third day of the pongal is for worship of the cattle or mattu the pongal that has been offered to the gods is fed to the cattle and birds that is the trait tradition of our indian culture and our heritage during the festival people pay their tributes and respect to the departed elders in the family by cooking their favorite dishes it is a time to remember and pay tribute to our forefathers our elders who are no more new clothes are offered to the needy and community lunches are also organized our children must inherit this tradition and follow it in their life the festival beautifully captures the essence of the deep respect and reverence for nature that forms the foundation of the indian civilization we consider earth to be our mother and are proud of our long tradition of harmonious existence between man and nature that's why i always say nature culture together for better future 
That is my advice to all the youngsters. Respect the nature. Follow the culture. Then you will have a better future. This reverence for nature has been abundantly reflected in our traditional practices. <coughs> Religious beliefs, rituals, folk over art and craft in our daily lives. Today, in the global community is extremely worried by the degradation of the environment and the disastrous consequence of the reckless exploitation of natural resources, traditional wisdom and practice of nature, conservation must become a source of inspiration and survey the road map to inclusive and sustainable development. My dear sisters and brothers, India is known as the land of festivals. Every month of the calendar holds one festival or other celebrated by different communities across the country. But what is unique about India is that because of its strong cultural foundations, the spirit of festivity often crosses lines of region, religion and community. Our festivals have acted as a strong unifying force, binding the country together through shared joy, love and brotherhood. This will also help in taking our unique festivals to younger generations, to our children, so that they are made aware of the legacy of grand civilization which they have inherited. My dear sisters and brothers, I deem it an honor to have presented the Mopovar of Venkai Naidu National Award instituted by Mopovar Foundation to Sri Swami Garu, father of the Green Revolution in India and the Dayan of Agriculture Science. He has been playing a pioneering role in the advancement of agriculture and improving the lives of the farmers. Sri Swami Ji has been acclaimed by the Times Magazine as one of the 20 most influential Asians of the 20th century and, and only one of the only three from India, the other two being father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi and Swami Vivekananda, Swami Vivekananda and Viswakavi Ravindranath Tagore. He has been described by the United Nations Environment Program as the father of economic ecology because of this leadership of the evergreen revolution movement in agriculture. On the occasion, today, I appeal to young agriculture scientists to evaluate qualities of Sri Swaminathan and work with dedication for the uplift of farmers and to make agriculture profitable, sustainable and viable. Agriculture is our basic culture. We must protect, promote agriculture and do everything possible to see that agriculture becomes viable. Even today, 60% of our population depends on agriculture. So it's our bounden duty to take care of agriculture and the agriculture scientists are called upon to make new researches, come out with new ideas, new methods to see that the agriculture becomes more viable. That is the need of the hour. I am confident our festivals will reinforce unique identity of our civilization, inspire us to build a prosperous, peaceful, unified, inclusive and beautiful world. We call it Pongal here in this part of the country. We call it Sankranti in other parts of the country including uh, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, and we call it also Bihu in the northeast, and also Lohri in Punjab and other areas. Names will be different, but our traditions are the same. Vividata me ekata Bharat ka viseshata arag bhasha arag vesh pirbi apna ek desh. Irrespective of caste, creed, sex, religion and region, India is one, one nation, one people, one country. We should remember this on this aspect occasion. And we should see to it that we follow the culture, tradition given by our forefathers. India's civilization is the oldest in the world and a great civilization. The civilization is Vishnu. Sarve Jana Sukhino Bhavantu Vasudaika Kutumbakam. Entire world is one family. That is the tradition of India. That is the tradition of our culture. So we Indians must see to it that we all work together, live together harmoniously leaving the other differences and then stop any discrimination on the basis of caste, creed, religion or region and see to it that we all move as one nation. That is the duty and once again let me wish each one of you a very, very happy Pongal Nandri Vanakkam.